Welcome back to our course on computer vision. I am Kausu Tripathi, your instructor, and today we are going to talk about image blending. Image blending means adding of two images into a one image. Okay, like uh, you got an apple, you got an orange, you just mix them up, create an apple or orange. That's my word. Anyways, so this is image blending, and in my previous video we have talked about pyramids. Pira, uh, image pyramids where we have discussed two pyramids type Gaussian and Laplacian pyramids. So we are going to use those two pyramid methods in today's video and we are going to um, you know do this, this image blending concept. So let's get on to it. Let's get on to our spider ID and see how are we going to do this. Okay. So this was our code of uh, pyramids that in our previous video we have made. Uh, we have built this code. Okay, I, have to, I did some editing, right? Like I just comment out the few lines that we don't need it. And I use, as we are using a function, I have created this return method so that it is going to return something out. Okay. So this is the code for the pyramids. Now I'm going to take you to my image blending code. Okay. So this is a code for the blending of images, means mixing of two images. Right. We are taking a two images as I told you about apple or orange. So we are taking two images, apple and orange, and we are gonna merge them together. And we are going to use this program, okay, over here in our this code, okay. As you can see here, I have uh, used from pyramid import Laplacian. Means pyramid was my file name, and Laplacian was a method or a function name that I just called inside of my this program. So you're gonna. So let, you're gonna see how this is gonna work over here, but let's start from the beginning. Okay, first what we did we imported our two libraries uh, Sorry, we imported our two libraries cv2 and numpy and then uh, We uh, you call these two maybe use these two images apple and orange. Let me show you what these images look like Okay, I'm gonna just create a I'm sure over here Apple, comma, Apple, and orange, comma. Okay, so and let me, I'm just gonna right now comment out these two. Okay, yeah. So now uh, let's run this whole code. Okay. And we will get our two images. This was my apple, and this is my orange over here. Okay. Now these two images are there. Now what my intention is to merge them together, like you know, 50% of the images of apple and 50% of the images of orange. Okay. So they both look uh, somewhat like uh, you know some they just oversight each other. Each other. So this is our main aim to merge these two images. Let's see how we're gonna do it. Okay, there is a one method of merging images that is called np.h stack. Basically, what is this doing? Uh, all the images are formed of arrays. So it is taking 50% of apples array and 50% of uh, orange array and you know merging them together, stacking them. That's why it is called h stack, stacking them together. So you see uh, our images are, are the shape 512 by 512. So uh, we are using the columns up to only 256. So this is a one method and let's see what happens. Now uh, let's comment, remove the comment from this line. And this is our H stack apple orange. And let's run the code again. And this is what happens when we are merging these two images. Okay, it looks like this, but you see, it's got the one the sap a line over here that is telling no, this is there's something wrong in the image. This this is not an original image. This is uh no, there's something off inside of the image. They are not mixing well together. Okay, as you can see here, this section looks a lot more brighter, and there's a line, and everything your background green shade you can see, everything looks so off in this image. So this is not a very good way of working when blending two images so we're gonna just remove this part and we're gonna put a comment over here again we don't need it so what we do 
So uh, basically, uh, I told you in my pyramids image, we use Kosh, uh, pyramids because uh, during the blending, because sometimes what happens when we are blending two images, they may not be of same size or their resolutions maybe some might be a little bit off or some different. So what we do is we just reduce them to their lowest size, you know, very low, not lowest, I would say very small size and there we merge them together and then form up again to their normal size that merged up image. So that makes them, uh, you know, merged up or blend perf uh, not perfectly, I would say, but yeah, in a good way. So that's what we are going to do here. I've created two lists over here. One is LP Apple, means Laplacian Apple and Laplacian Orange List. Okay, these are just two variables name. And I have called this pyramid method, uh, Laplacian method from my pyramid file, which is present over here. Okay, I've called this file and I've used this Laplacian method over there. Okay, so I, if you don't know what Laplacian method is, just watch my previous video on pyramids. And uh, I have explained in deep what is Laplacian and Gaussian py uh, pyramids are. So that's what I'm doing over here. I've just called those Laplacian, I've called the Laplacian method over here. So what Laplacian method does, it reduces the size of the image into, you know, that uh, uh, mostly black and white, a uh, black, uh, black and sketchy image up to the smallest point. Okay. Basically what happens over here is uh, Laplacian works under two concepts. First, it do Gaussian pyramiding, then it uh, applies the Laplacian. So in Gaussian, it reduces down the uh, images and then in pyramid, it in sorry in Laplacian it again brings uh, brings them up back but in those you know black and white sketchy format that edge detected format somewhat edge edges you know only you can see the edges of that image like that so that's how it looks like okay and if you want to see it uh, you can see you know like I just remove let me remove this from here and if we run this much of the code let me just uh, cover these I'm sure also Okay, now if I run this much of the code for the Apple only right now. Okay, for my uh, this main file, so it is not going to use this cb2.am show over here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run cb2.am show right over here. I'm going to run this program and show you how this all happening. I'm just going to comment out this section and the Laplacian method section. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm passing an image. Okay, I'm reading the image Apple over here. And I'm passing that apple into this Laplacian method. Okay, so you can see how it is going to form. So if I run this program, let's see what happens. Okay, you see these are the images that are formed. One, two, three, four, five. They are very small. But you see, uh, in some images, you can you will be able to see the shape of that apple, somewhat edged edges in that apple inside. In some images, it is not that clearer, but yeah, they are present over there. If you increase your brightness or something, you you will be able to see it. So this is uh, how Laplacian looks like, and Laplacian means uh, image inside of Laplacian pyramids looks like. They just detect some edges around it, and you know, re uh, reduce the size. So I'm just gonna close it. This was in, it inside of the Laplacian and I'm going to comment back all of these lines. <clears throat> okay, now back to our main program. So this was our main program over here. Okay, so this is how Laplacian works and you know, <coughs> sorry, in Laplacian basically what happens is when it goes to the smallest point, it starts connecting the images, adding the images, basically Laplacian we works with Laplacian because we reach up to the smallest point and it is all edge detected. There is no any other color over there. Nothing is over there. And there we start adding the images and bring them up back. Okay. That's what. And when we reconstruct that image, like uh, back to the original one, you know, with original colors, sorry. Then it all means it almost looks like your yeah, images are blended. I will show you how. So as I told you, we, uh, we reduce the sizes. With the help of the Laplacian, we went bit to the smallest size, okay, that black and white sketchy size. Then what we did in here, like earlier, we are using H stack to merge them up, okay. Same thing we are doing over here, okay. 
for every image we are merging them together now now is uh, we don't right now uh, i use here call uh, divide, uh, call divided by two call means columns and i don't know in columns i am taking from here by the, the shape function i am taking the for its columns in the column variable and uh, i don't know what will be the size of the smallest image okay and every time every at uh, every size this column size and row size will be changed so that's why i'm using a variable over here column divided by two okay because half of that columns i need half will be of other image and i am just merging them up at each level okay then what i'm doing over here is i am reconstructing the image okay i when i uh added those images i add them i put them into a stack list i created a list named stack and i put them over there then i've created a list name uh not list basically i created a variable recons means reconstruction where every time an image will come it will get reconstructed back okay so what i did here is i uh you know i did a pair up on reconstruction means i increase the size of the recons that image that i kept in recons stack zero image means the lowest size image i put it in uh recons and i increase the size of it with the user of pyramid up pair up method and then i add them together okay what i added is basically the increased size of the you know that merged image and the normal uh, uh, one level up image of the stack so as i told you uh, how laplacian was for being formed by subtracting it from its one higher uh, one higher resolution image we are sub keep on subtracting it right that's why we are getting edges now we are doing just opposite of it and we are adding it okay with the whatever mm, the images that we are getting from the stack that image plus of that level uh what image come out of pyr up pyramid up because pyramid up when we are using the pyramid it will uh, uh you know reduce the quality of the image so to maintain that quality back so to get that quality back we are adding this okay these both images so that we can have our original quality in that image and then we are doing the cvt that i am sure okay so i'm gonna run this whole program let's see how this all will work so this was our earlier image this h stack okay see that's how it was stacked up and this apple orange image over here this is our original image okay and you see how conveniently they are merged together they are blended together like we, it looks like this fruit is somewhat kind of an merge of apple and orange okay this is an original fruit which is merged between apple and orange okay there must be some kind of a gene problem over here okay you see even the background becomes you know like it is it's got a same background and everything it looks I mean, it's, it, it looks a lot clearer blended image and when you see this it looks like okay yeah we are just you know rushing them and merging them together there's nothing like we just took apple and orange we just cut them into half and we put them together this looks like that but here it looks like yeah they are blended that's one thing that's only one fruit over here so this is called image blending okay but this is not the perfect method but yeah this is the most used method but there are lots of better methods than this and i will make i will sh definitely bring videos on better methods on image blending basically using poisons method of image blending so stay tuned for that video on a few days i'll bring that video too okay so this is it in this video good luck